you had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride out of the blue. I wanna do what you want to. Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. In today's video, we are going to be going through the whole process of cleaning, decorating, and just making over our back deck so that we can enjoy it for summer. So the first thing I need to do is take up this old rug. We actually left it on for winter and right now it is shedding a really fine almost hair like dust and we keep bringing it in. So I'm just going to roll this up quickly, get it out of here and then I'm going to start power washing the deck. Now normally Scott always takes care of power washing but on this day he was busy and I thought since I have my YouTube channel I wanted to tackle this myself. And I have to say it was very easy. I'll go ahead and link the power washer that we got off of Amazon. It was a very user friendly, super easy to hook up. Really did a great job on cleaning off all of the mold and dust, bug and bird debris that needed to be cleaned off before I get to any type of rearranging and cleaning off our outdoor furniture. So this is exactly what I'm going to be working on today. Now throughout this video, you're going to see a few different outfit changes because I did do this over the course of about a week. I would just pop out when the weather was cooperating, get a little bit done. I really just took my time, did what I could and enjoyed the process from beginning to end. So I really hope that this gives you tons of motivation to get up and do your summer decorating in your outside areas. Okay, so now as I finish up all the floors and the railing, all that is left to do for today is to go down the stairs and really get all that mold off. I'm really happy that the cover of our fire pit really cleaned up nicely with the power washer. I couldn't believe how green it was and then how white and cream the cover looks now. So I'm really happy with that. I'm going to finish up here tonight and then tomorrow hopefully the weather will be good and I can get back out here and clean up our furniture. Okay, so this is the start of a new day and I'm going to clean up all of our old existing furniture. We actually got this furniture from Lowe's about 10 years ago. It has held up wonderfully, but I'm thinking next year we may need to purchase a new set. But I had Scott go ahead and carry up our couch and two chairs and then we also have another set from years ago that I'm also going to use as extra seating here on the deck. So what I'm using is just some Simply Green and again my power washer and I'm just going to give all the furniture a good power washing before we put any of the cushions back on. I'm also loving this extendable long handle brush that actually Scott uses to clean our vehicles with, but I love that it's able to get into all those little nooks and crannies and get the pollen and dust off of there before I rinse it with our power washer.
So our back deck or patio measures about 15 by 15 and we've always had just conversation pieces up here. I'm a little bit weird with eating outside so we've never had a table up here but I know next year we do need to probably replace the furniture. It's starting to break in, in little sections but my son Caleb always teases me and says mom how could you not enjoy eating outside? You grew up with a farm in your backyard but for me, I just don't enjoy eating while there's bugs flying around. So that's just a little fun fact about me. But you'll have to let me know down in the comments what do you have in your entertaining space. Do you just have seating area? Do you have both? Or do you just have a table? I'd love to know what you have in your space. Okay, so now that all of the furniture pieces have been power washed, it's time to go ahead and start placing back on the cushions. Now for the winter, we do try to store these pieces in our garage. And I do think that this has helped to keep them as nice and have the longevity over these 10 plus years. So with that being said, they still have some places that need to be power washed so that they are nice and clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all power washed. And then I'll try to rearrange the furniture and come up with a seating solution that I really like for the summer. I don't know if it's just in my area here in northern West Virginia, but our pollen has been super heavy the past few weeks. So since I had the power washer out, I thought I would give the grill a nice power washing. And I'm super glad that I did. It shined up so nicely and was so satisfying to see the results. As you all know, I love to share the daily Bible verse, and today's is from Matthew 6, 14, and it states, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now that the cleaning is all finished, it is time for the fun part, which is to start decorating. I'm super excited to lay down our new rug that we got off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description box if you're interested. But first, I'm just going to rearrange all the furniture in a place that I like, and then we'll roll out the new rug. Even in my wildest dreams. Even in my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. I am absolutely in love with this new rug. You'll definitely not want to click off just yet. You'll have to wait and see how everything turns out once I've decorated the space. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and place these swivel chairs back into their home. We love these chairs because of their swivel ability so that we can turn out into the yard and then also in towards the conversation area. But because everything is still wet, I'm going to call it a day and let everything dry before moving on. 
finally it is decorating day which is my favorite here is a look at all the flowers that i picked up over the weekend from lowe's i want to go ahead get them all planted in pots that i've already had i only picked up a couple new ones and i got those from big lots i actually did a shop with me or a browse at big lots if you missed that one i can go ahead and link that up above for you they i was pleasantly surprised with the selection of decor that they had but I'm going to go ahead and just fill up these pots get all these beautiful plants potted and that's going to add so much color and vibrancy to the area now I am not an expert in gardening at all but I do know that I have read and heard that you should have a thriller which I used as this little spiky plant a filler and a spiller. Next, I planted those spillers, which will spill out and grow over the pot. And then I wanted to add yellow and reds and purples. So with these plants here are my filler. I promise you that we learn through the wrongs And even the rough can be sweet Just close As you can see right behind me we have a area there that we don't really know what to do with we have tried so many different things that area runs alongside our driveway and is very steep so if you have any suggestions i know we could probably terrace it um, scott actually did the retaining wall that is directly behind me that took him quite some time and we just can't imagine trying to do this whole hill ourselves so we may have to actually hire that out we love to do diy projects but this one just might be a little too hard for us i don't think this will be a summer project for us this year we have lots of other projects that we're working on currently we are working on our front porch we're putting vinyl railing up and so that is taking some time one of our pieces was delayed and so that's just you know delaying the whole process but yes if you have any suggestions on what we could do with a very steep slanted hill let me know down in the comments we've tried to put mulch but it seems to just slide down and we're not sure if even rock would stay on the hill either so again just let me know if you have any suggestions questions. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away that I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go Nothing without Before I add the plants, I did notice that our patio doors were looking super dirty with tons of pollen so i just want to go ahead and wipe that down today is supposed to be a beautiful day a high near 90 and it is extremely humid so i was having a terrible time trying to get the solution to actually dry but i'm just going to work on this and then we will bring all those beautiful potted plants up and decorate 
You might have noticed that I also brought up two matching chairs that match that other set that I mentioned in the beginning to flank the sides of the patio doors. And I went ahead and switched out the tan seat cushions for these green ones that I got a couple years back. They are the Threshold brand from Target. So they all match and I think they're just going to complement the area well. Now I do want to spray paint these chairs. So if I do that later in the summer, I'll definitely bring you along. So I'm just adding this beautiful little plant stand. Again, something that I had years ago. I think I got it at Kirkland's, but again, probably 10 plus years old. And so I'm just wiping it down, getting all that pollen off. And then I'm going to set that beautiful planter that I picked up from Big Lots. If you're still here and watching, I want to thank you so very much. I appreciate you. And if you are new and haven't already subscribed and are enjoying today's video, I hope you hit that little red subscribe button down below. And also do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you know anyone you could share this video with, that would be awesome as well. I have a quick question for you if you wouldn't mind answering. I love to make content that you all would enjoy. So other than decorating and DIY home projects and shop with me's, what other types of videos would you be interested in seeing? If you've been around a while, you know my obsession with pillows and pillows galore. So I didn't neglect placing them out here in this space either. So all of these pillow covers are from Amazon. I'll try to go ahead and link them down below. And I just love mixing all the colors and patterns. And I really think it looks very vibrant and complete. I did want to mention that they all are labeled indoor outdoor pillows, but I may go back and go ahead and give them an extra coat of some Scotch guard. But when I know that there is a storm coming, there is a little section under our sofa that I stash them all away. If you happen to look very closely in today's video, you might have noticed my little annoying sidekick assistant, which is a wood burrower bee. I looked it up and they're not supposed to be dangerous, but he has been helping me along throughout today. I'm adding this white melamine marbled tray that I picked up from Walmart. It is in the Better Homes and Garden line. And to it, I'm adding the Southern Living and Home glass container. And then I just wanted to pop in some of that succulent that I picked up from Walmart as well. You can get this at Walmart and at Hobby Lobby. And then of course, to just go along with that yellow, I'm just adding in some lemons just to give it that pop of cheerful yellow. To follow the rule of decorating in threes or odd numbers, I'm placing this really large three wick citronella candle that I picked up from Big Lots along with that black pot also from Big Lots. And I just think those colors really pop and complement the pillows that I have surrounding it.
Now that all the things are watered, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the space for summer. I'll share some final shots with you, and I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that I gave you some motivation as well as some inspiration for your outdoor spaces. If you do enjoy the video, again, I ask that you give me a big thumbs up, share it with someone you know, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. Well, I thank you so very much for spending today with me and I hope to see you in my next one folks be sure to have your notification bell set to all as summer approaches my videos may become a little bit more sporadic so make sure to have that on so that YouTube will share all of my videos with you have a wonderfully blessed day friends I'll see you next time bye some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness give me a little faith something to make me stronger someone who could like the way then you came to me and you gave me reason